God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Monday, May 31st. Today's devotional is based on Psalm 8. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Bonnie Patterson. David's awe is not difficult to understand. Few fields of learning are more daunting than astronomy. The lens of a telescope awakens our soul to the sheer enormity of God's creation. Our galaxy alone is spread over a hundred thousand light years expanse and is estimated to be one among millions in the universe. As David wrote Psalm 8, his eyes only saw 0.0001% of the hundred billion stars in our Milky Way. Indeed, our understanding the heavens confronts us with two important thoughts. The incomprehensible greatness of our Creator and our own very small and inconsequential stature in the universe. And Patterson leaves us with this question. When you look at the night sky, do you feel inconsequential or important to God? Let us pray. Thank you for the beauty of the stars and the, for giving all life purpose and meaning. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whatever that may be, Stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask. God bless.